Welcome to the world of wireless networking. This area has emerged as a potential area of research and widespread application. The future of wireless networking is very bright. Now, in this era of information explosion, tell me how internet can be made available in the remote places of our country in a cost effective manner? How to provide information displays in historical buildings without destroying any part of these remarkably valuable monuments? Wireless networks is the answer. Just imagine the possibilities of an ambulance with high quality wireless connection to a hospital. Vital information about injured patient can be sent to a hospital instantly from the accident spot so that the hospital would be ready for treating the patient by the time he or she arrives there. A businessman traveling by flight can download his emails to his uh, laptop by the time he comes to the airport. In short, wireless networking is rapidly gaining popularity where conventional kind of networking is not possible or difficult. After going through this module, you will be able to understand the basics of wireless networking, classify categories of wireless networks identify different hardware and software components required to make a wireless network, apply the knowledge to set up and configure a wireless network. Wireless networking is a more modern alternative to wired networking that relies on copper or optical cabling between network devices. The term wireless networking refers to technology that enables two or more computers to communicate using standard network protocols, but without network cabling. Strictly speaking, any technology that does this could be called wireless networking. Wireless networks utilize radio waves and microwaves to maintain communication channels between computers. The most popular implementations of wireless networks are IEEE 802.11 standard that is called WLAN Bluetooth and uh, infrared data association. Now about the frequencies and data rates used by wireless networks. 802.11 can support 1 to 2 megabits per second. 802.11b can support 11 Mbps over a 2.4 gigahertz line. 802.11a can support up to 54 Mbps over a 5 GHz bandwidth. Bluetooth works in ISM band, that is industrial, scientific and medical band, which is free band at 2.4 GHz. IRDA is infrared data association. Line of sight is a necessary condition for best results for this technology. Now, let us see the basic type of wireless networks. They can be classified into two ad hoc networks, infrastructure based networks. In ad hoc or peer to peer networks, each network device can equip with wireless cards and they can set up a network very quickly without any infrastructure. In infrastructure based network, the devices communicate each other through a base station. Now, we will see the basic components of a wireless network. Wireless network has an wireless network adapter. This is something similar to Ethernet card used in wireless networks. This can be plugged into the device which wants to be a part of the wireless network. Second one, wireless access point. This device acts as a hub for wireless networks. Through the access points, wireless devices can be connected to a wired networks. Wireless router. This is also similar to the router in a wired network. Internetworking of wireless devices is only possible through wireless router. The router can also provide DHCP and DNS services. In this module, I have provided a brief idea of what a wireless network is. I have introduced the emerging standards and talked about the basic types of wireless networks. I have also familiarized you different types of devices used in wireless networking. In the next module, we will see how to set up a wireless network.